Hey everyone, got a really quick video for you here today. I want to talk about a couple of different synchronized clock options that are out there. I'll show you two hardware options and then I'll show you a software option that I've created and made available for free. So first of all, I want to talk about the Master Clock NTDS26 that you're seeing here on your screen right now. This is my primary clock here in the trailer. I've had this thing ever since I built the trailer and I wanted to have an accurate clock because it's always good to know exactly what time it is when you're doing live video. So I purchased this. I discovered these guys at NAB a few years ago. This is a pretty cool product that synchronizes using NTP over the internet, so the time is always very accurate. It's also powered, the model I got is powered via power over ethernet, so I don't actually have to provide a power connection into that. I just make sure that it's plugged into an ethernet switch that has power over ethernet. Next one I wanted to mention is the one that's sitting right here. This is the 1201DD from Everts. This is one I just barely picked up. This one's not only an internet synchronized clock, but it's also a display that's capable of showing not just showing, but also generating time code. So if you plug in a time code source into the back, you can switch the display in the menu to display that time code data uh, as you go. And it can actually generate time code as well. So if you want a master time code source for all the devices in your video setup, you can use one of these. Now, the third option I want to mention is a page on my website. This is available for free for anybody. Uh, but only people who are using my crewaccess.com site would probably would have discovered this. So this is just a page that's available for free to anybody. So in order to get there, we'll go to djp.li slash djpclock. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just very quickly click on the link to get there uh, without the five second delay. But here it is. So this is a real time, highly accurate clock that's synchronized to an NTP data source behind the scenes. And you can use it however you want. So if you wanted to, you could just make this a uh, small little corner of your screen or Make it go full screen. We'll hit F11 on the keyboard here in order to make that go full screen. Then you can have that just displayed wherever you want. And the other thing you can do with this, you can actually make this a video source in, in part of your video production setup and then route that to a multi view. And so you can have that in one of your windows in part of a multi view. So any number of sources, any number of uses are, are available there. This also does run on little uh, inexpensive computers like Raspberry Pis. So if you wanted a very an expensive source of a higher accurate clock to inject into your video production system this is a good way to do that i'll tell you a little bit more about what's going on behind the scenes here so this as i mentioned this is actually being synchronized to an ntp clock and i've taken a lot of uh, pains and precautions in order to make sure that this is a very very highly accurate and uh yeah it, it resynchronizes every 30 minutes on its own or you can manually refresh the page if you if you want but you shouldn't need to but it, it's very highly accurate. It should be accurate to well within uh, under 100 milliseconds uh, without, without question. So um, there are some options that you can put on here. So if you go up to the URL here and add question mark TZ equals, you can put in a time zone, the same format that's used by Linux. So we'll say America slash loss underscore Angeles. And then hit return, and now it's displaying the time as it would be in LA. You can do the same thing in New York, whatever. So, but you use standard time zone strings like the format that is used by Linux. You stick that in there. The other thing you can do is actually change the size. So you can say question mark uh, SZ equals, and then the base size is 12. If I want to go bigger, I'll say 16. That'll make the text a little bit bigger. So you can tweak that a little bit, and then you can. If you wanted to go smaller, you could do SE equals 10. Uh, and this size is based on the width of the window. So you can adjust the height of the window without affecting the size. But when you start adjusting the width of the window, that size will, will follow as well. So anyway, that's available for free. You can get to, get to that through that djp.li slash djpclock link. And uh, feel free to use that as much as you want. Share it with your friends, family, other coworkers, whatever. Uh, it's available for anybody to use. So anyway, there you go. Thanks everyone for watching and have a fantastic day.